Hi, this is Katakana, and welcome to Time Layers Episode 2. Um, as you can see, I've had over 12 hours of offline progress. The universe is now 11 days old, which means it's around a million seconds old, as you can see right here. And I can unlock the next layer. And this is the energy layer, which if I can, which for right now I can reset for two space energy. Now with this, it multiplies the above layer speed by three. And for one joule, I can unlock nucleosynthesis. I don't know what that is, but I'll assume, yeah, it's over here. So your nucleosynthesis age is 18 seconds. Nucleosynthesis of deuterium nuclei occurs between 2 minutes and 20 minutes, and I have 0 millimeters of deuterium nuclei. This adds to my base space foam to make it longer. Okay, so I guess like after 2 minutes of playing through this, space foam starts to increase, but like after 20 minutes it stops again. <laughs> so it appears that all of the currencies and spatial and space-time and temporal compressions, they all reset, but the upgrades don't. So that means I'll be able to rebuild faster, especially because this layer is now two times faster than real time. So <clears throat> now I can finally get that. Uh, I guess like some of these upgrades don't get kept. Like these upgrades are kept, but um, the last upgrades aren't. And it appears that time foam per second is what the multiplier to all above layers is. So now I have this, which means that space foam is slowly starting to increase. <clears throat> I guess it just adds to this. I guess after a thousand millimeters, maybe it'll it'll stop. <clears throat> um, after a thousand millimeters it'll like be doubled from the base or something. I think that's how it would work. And yeah, please excuse the birds from out my window. They, they like to chirp in the mornings. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, since um, nothing is really being done right now, I'll just end the clip here. Okay, so in the last clip, I got, and also, um, in between clips, I got a couple upgrades. I got this one. Um, I performed some compressions, and I was, I'm about to do this. Uh, <clears throat> it boosted space-time foam by a certain amount. Uh, you can also see this is increasing, because, well, this is increasing, too. Um, I'm almost at the 20-minute mark. Uh, in energy layer, it says, reach 1 million space-time to prestige, and I clearly did that before. Uh, I don't know if it requires, like, 1e7 or something to prestige the second time. I'll have to check that. Uh... I think I'll probably be better off just prestiging with a million, so I'm just going to do that again. Reset with one space energy. Now it multiplies the above layer speed by three times. Uh, now I can actually see, does nucleosynthesis... <coughs> yeah, so it doubles the speed of nucleosynthesis. That's interesting. Uh, so it gets a bit faster over time. Yeah, because it multiplies this above layer's speed. So I would expect nucleosynthesis to run twice as fast now.
Okay, so it's now increasing deuterium nuclei. I think I'll now, I won't have, I definitely won't have to wait as long to get this. Uh, I think it's one and a half times as fast. So if this layer was just one time as faster than real time, it would probably be like half a second per second, which is kind of weird. Um, perform that. And I guess I'll just wait for this. Because then I might be able to get more space from. Okay, there we go, and it's not enough to perform another spatial compression. I guess I'll... maybe I should just wait until... <coughs> until 2,500 seconds of time foam, because that might be enough to push me over the spatial compression mark. Uh, maybe I could wait um, to get two more, but I don't know if any more... Uh, then that is worthwhile and necessary. So, there. <clears throat> now I guess I'll just wait till... Yeah, it says 370 space-time foam per second, but I'm clearly getting more than that a second because of the multi multiply the factor, yes. <laughs> what was I trying to say there? It's factor. Let's see, it's about halfway done. I'll actually, I think I'll do a couple prestiges when I'm off camera and um, start the next clip when I get this upgrade. Okay, so this clip was a bit sooner than I expected, but because of this upgrade, buy all the one of row one upgrades, and somehow I got this. I think it's because, um, actually I don't know why it, I don't know why it did that. Maybe it's just something that unlocks when I have three jewels of space energy. But because I got all of these up, but because of it, I got all of these upgrades, I can now get, uh, I can now that get these. Um, I don't know why it says keep all bot upgrades upon reset, because I got three. But now I have now um some now some of these are cheaper. Space spatial compression is a lot cheaper. And now things now the lower row costs compressors and then this one is the appropriate out of stock cost. I don't know if jewels have a hard limit where the multiplier to above layers is three because I got the third one and it didn't increase. So I don't know if that's like a hard cap limit, but I have five minutes of, you know, this, and that's translated to 235 millimeters of deuterium nuclei. So that would be like multiply it by 25%. So it's like a 25% increase. Uh, it's getting pretty fast now. Seven spatial compressions. So all of these compressors are still too, they're still too low to get anything here.
also got these two achievements have a five hour old universe and have a one week old universe so yes on the seventh day this achievement was created i don't know what computer bike master would mean uh that seems very that seems very hard to get i have to have exactly all of these maybe it's like have greater than 256 meters, 6536 seconds, and 16,777,016 meter seconds. But I don't know. Uh, I'll do this and then perform that. Okay, that gets me to 9 here and 8 here. So, I don't want, I don't know, maybe I should just prestige again. See if it increases the multiplier by any amount. And nope. <clears throat> it didn't increase the... Did not increase the multiplier. I'll go into the achievements. Have nine, exactly nine of each compressor. With spatial compressors. Which a kilometer of space foam and gain ten times more from space-time foam. <clears throat> I could get that. Uh... I don't know what to, I don't know, like, can I boost anything if this just stops boosting after three times? Maybe I should just look on the Discord for that, I don't know. But, nevertheless, I'm getting, It's this game is getting a bit faster. So maybe I should, like, maybe I should try to grind for some compressors. I don't know if nine compressors here is enough. I don't know if I can get nine compressors here, but I guess it's worth a try. Well, <clears throat> I guess I'll just keep the clip going because I could get this pretty soon. But that's all bot upgrades and I have all this. So yeah, I think the only option left is just to wait. And yes, Jewel directly multiplies space gain. So that sh that should really help. Multiply Jewel gain by your amount of row 2 upgrades. Yeah, that also seems seems pretty effective. So I think the way to go is just to is just to wait a while and get these What if I could just tell those birds to shut up? <laughs> ah. Temporal compression. Yeah, I think I really could try to get this achievement. Meanwhile, I've got mm, the last space-time compressor that I need for that achievement anyway. But I don't know if that'll be an, if that'll be enough on when I finish nucleosynthesis. I don't know if that'll be enough to get 643 plus the temporal compressions and nine of them. So there would be a tiny boost, boost spatial compressor by 9%. Actually, that's not a tiny boost. That's that's a decent amount. So I think I'll be doing that. I mean, I can race up for one space energy, but actually I'll just do it now because it won't really be that effective, and now I have to do two more. Uh, well then, this is going well. I guess I'll end the clip here. Okay, so it's been a while. I got 
I got um, two more joules of sp of space energy, meaning that the layer that the physical layer is three times faster. So it's basically back where I was before. Um, I can perform a, sp a temporal compression for sixty four thousand seconds of sp of time foam. Um, I don't know if that's enough to give enough space foam for this spatial compression. Um, maybe it will be enough when nucleosynthesis gets maxed out. Uh, just have to, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. But this looks like it's... It might be enough. Yeah, I'll just have to wait and see, because... I mean, this is 36 seconds, so this might take... This might take about half an hour to do. It might take half an hour to do this. So, yeah, I guess I'll just see you in the next clip. Okay, so I'm almost at this temporal compression. I, I'll i see if I have enough. And, oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, so I got two achievements at once. Um, 999 and all of your upgrades belong to us. And, uh, well, it was SI units, finally. Not all your upgrades belong to us. That's a different thing. But now that I did that, um, the game is now a lot faster. The next space-time compression is that... But I can do another spatial compression, which means I'm able to get this upgrade. Each space or time makes compressors 2.25 times cheaper. I don't know what that does... I mean, like, each space or time? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, each space or time that is mentioned in each up upgrade that you bought or something? I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't seem to make... It doesn't seem to make compressors cheaper. So I don't know what it does. Um, I mean, at least, at least with that, I can, I can actually reset for three, I can actually reset for three space energy, because of this E9, but I don't know what that does, I think I should just, because <clears throat> resetting for more space energy doesn't seem to be the way to go right now, so I think what I'm going to do is either wait until either wait until I can perform another temporal compression or wait until I can perform another space-time compression. Actually, it does look like space-time compressions did get cheaper. I mean, when I bought this, it, I think it was 2.25 2 times cheaper. Uh, <clears throat> but e each of these will take more than a thousand seconds to get. So... <laughs> I don't think, I don't think the M key holder was correct on that one. Time walls that are all sub, sub a thousand seconds? Maybe not, unless, like, you want to go the route of resetting for more and more space, uh, resetting for space energy over and over and over again until you can finally get this upgrade. But, uh, the only one I have left now is Computer Byte Master. Which mean which requires me to get sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six seconds of of time foam, and with that I can finally reach this and complete this first achievement row. Uh, <clears throat> that's about it for now. I think I'll just end the clip here and see when I can get these two, and after I get these two upgrades, I think I'll end the video there. Okay, so um, this is the next clip. I'm on the universe is almost 15 days old now. Um, I finally finished the first row of achievements with ending up getting computer byte master. So it's like have each of these or more, <laughs> not exactly each of these. That seems impossible, but <clears throat> I can perform. I can perform this temporal progression. Why do I say that? 
I said that before, I say it now. Um, multiply jewel gain by your amount of row 2 upgrades. So when I have two of them, currently I can reset for 5 space energy. And after this, I think I'll be able to reset for 10. Yeah. Although I don't know what a failsafe would be if I somehow managed to not get this, but get this. I don't know what that would... I want, I don't know what that would mean. I don't know... I don't want to know what that would mean. Because, <laughs> like, suddenly you can't get any space energy, and you have to buy this. Uh, um, for now, though, I'm going to be getting... 28,000 for time foam. Although, with the 28,000, I think I'll also be getting this. Um, I can perform spatial compression. That actually decreases the amount of space foam, which is... Actually, that's not strange, because I... I I have two less temporal progressions. I have two fewer temporal compressions than I have before. So it's understandable that it would decrease space foam by a certain amount. Uh, nucleosynthesis is definitely done now. Um, I don't know, maybe that was a bug or something, because it said the layer was two times faster, and it looks like this is three times faster Maybe it's just two times faster and it was like, and it would not do any nucleosynthesis if it was one times faster. But I not I don't know. Uh, it's gonna take. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It's like two e ten left, so that would be about thirty two minutes left. I can reset for 11 now. <laughs> Not much news. I also noticed that, yeah, temporal compressors, less than free space. Well, I don't know if I already said that. <laughs> People are probably yelling at me, you already said that. I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. Also, before, uh, when I started the video, it was 11 days, and I couldn't even see it moving most of the time. But now, I can definitely see some numbers actually increasing. That's good news. <laughs> Seconds are no longer a thing. I don't know if uh, it could be possible to have decimal points in the minutes. That would be something interesting to check out. I also have 10,000 meters of space foam back, or 10 kilometers. I think I'll be waiting to get this again, and once I get this jewel directly multiplies space gain, I'll be able to get 11 space energy. Actually, no, not 11. Yeah, I'll be getting less than 11, but that will allow me to get more space foam, so that would be good. And then I'll finally be able to get this one th 100 space energy upgrade. So yeah, I think I'll end the clip here. Um, I'll start it up when, again when I get... I'll start the video again when I get this. And I guess see you in the next clip. Okay, so I can finally get... From, I can finally get 11 space-time compressors. Boom. Now this... Now it, it, it multiplies that. And now I can get all the way back to this again. And now with just E9, I can reset for 10 more, and here I am. It, it says 13, but did not increase by 11. <laughs> uh, anyway, now I have, now, of course, jewels multiply space foam directly. So now I can just buy these. And now it's getting, well, it's getting quite fast. Four minute mile, have 1609 meters of space with under four minutes of nucleosynthesis. Okay, so the next one is 42,195 meters of space with under two hours of nucleosynthesis. That might also be doable. I'll have to see. 
uh, new I got neutron star. Have twenty thousand meters of space before nucleosynthesis even starts. Yes, because nucleosynthesis has just started. Uh, and yeah, I think I'll end the video here. I'll start the next one when I get a hundred s when I get a hundred space energy, and I guess see you later.